Une fois en studio, on redevient sérieux. Un bon moment pour une conversation plus intime avec Taj à propos de sa famille. Est-ce que tu te sens isolé du monde, surprotégé par ton entourage normal kids my age because I know how harsh the world can be. I think my dad is the one that really protects us, but when he's not around, I feel like I'm the one that should protect them because I am the oldest brother. And um, that's one thing when my mom was around, that's what she wanted me to do is protect my brothers and take care of them. So that's what I, I mean, I try and do that as much as possible. They're funny, you know, they tease me a lot and whatever, but whenever something has to be done, you know, they always go to their older brother for them, him to do it because think I'm, you know, responsible one. Whenever something that they don't want to do has to be done, I have to do it. How did Et comment as-tu commencé la musique? Um, I guess just, listen, you know, watch my dad. I, I knew I wanted to do something music, so at first I started with classical. I would play some classical pieces, Bach and Mozart and WC, and then I went, and when Terrell came around, then TJ came around, We wanted to do a group, so we would work and work and work, and we, you know, after a lot of years, we're here finally. Et ça a été difficile de prendre la décision d'être musicien professionnel. Um, I don't know. It's, ever since I was young, I knew I wanted to do music. A lot of my friends um, at school were like, "What are you going to do when you go to college? And what are you going to do when you grow up?" And I knew at, you know, sixth grade what I wanted to do. I wanted to do music and be like my dad and my uncle, and my aunts and my uncles. And that's all I wanted to do, you know, besides baseball. We also wanted to play baseball, but when it came between baseball and music, we knew we could still play baseball, you know, in the summers and do music for a part, you know, full-time job. Mm -hmm. Et toi, TJ, raconte-moi comment tu as commencé la musique. One of the first things I learned on the drums, when I was about five or six, I had lessons. This is what they taught me. And what my brothers would do is they would walk around the drums, marching to that beat telling me it's time to eat or whatever my mom had ordered them to do. We used to play all our uncle songs, like Beat It. I love drums, but my, my main instrument is the keyboard. Tu peux me montrer? Sure, I'd love to. This is my snack, because I usually play for an hour or so, and that's my snack in case I get a little hungry and I don't have to move. But, um... This was one of the first songs that I wrote on the keyboard. Do you know what it is? Oui, c'est un échine. Et d'habitude, tu écris aussi avec tes frères um, Sometimes. Like that one, anything I wrote at 2 o'clock in the morning and at school the next day. And I couldn't go to sleep. I just finished my homework, so I just went to the piano and started playing chords. And then I ran to my brother's room because he was out of school and he was working on music all day. And he helped me sequence it and put it together and then came up with the melody and the lyrics with Taj. So it, it was a... We, we all did come together and write anything. Taril et toi, tu peux me raconter tes premiers pas en musique? Um, I think I started on piano because that's the most common instrument in the music business, as everybody knows. But my father had a bunch of music equipment around the house because he had a studio like this at home. So he'd have guitars, keyboards, drums, pianos, everything. My father 
you know, he plays guitar for the group, the Jacksons. And I wanted to learn guitar too. I wanted to learn as much as I could. And I picked up a guitar and he gave me a couple of lessons. That's a big dream of mine to write more and more, to become the best I can at it. Um, I wrote a lot of songs on the album with my brothers too. We did about, there's 12 songs on the album. We wrote um, either me or TJ or Taj, one of us, we wrote at least covered eight of them, which is important to us because therefore the, the audience, the fans, they get to know three T more in, instead of somebody else's story. Est-ce que tu penses continuer à travailler avec tes frères pour toujours? Well, oh. we're gonna, that's some, we have a lot of dreams, my brothers and I. Um, we're very close and we respect that, but I think we're gonna do solo, solo projects, not just solo albums, but Todd is gonna do movies, TJ is gonna do acting, I'm gonna do, uh, he's gonna do Molly, I'm gonna do writing and music for films, but there's always gonna be 3T, no matter what, you know, we'll always work together. There may be a time, you know, that TJ's doing a movie and there's no 3T album, but that doesn't mean that there's no 3T. We'll always work together. And just because I'm doing a project, you know, maybe I'm doing a soundtrack for a movie, that doesn't mean that TJ's not gonna be by my side helping me out, or Todd isn't gonna be saying, you know, this is the type of movie that I directed, you know, see what kind of music you can put to the film. So we're always gonna be close together and, you know, that unit, because that's where I started from and that's where I'm gonna end up. It's with my brothers. Une fois l'enregistrement terminé, c'est devant l'énorme table de mixage que les trois frères nous racontent comment ils travaillent en studio les arrangements de leurs chansons. Yeah. yeah, we produce actually anything. We know how to work the board pretty well. Solos. So keep a solo. See, this is just the piano. We could cut it, put it back. I think it's, it now? I think it's from being around our family. Our father had, you know, this type of studio at home. So at a young age, we were learning about what these, all these little buttons do. Um, I think that's why we're so much better than the average teenagers at this. It looks pretty complicated, but it's not that hard once you get to know it. We've definitely had an advantage from, you know, just growing up in the Jackson family in terms of just being familiar with all this. Because it's kind of intimidating when you look at it, but we've been very fortunate because our dad at a young age taught us about the knobs and he, we were, you know, I was 12 playing with lots of money, <laughs> lots of money worth of equipment, so. Yeah. But he trusted us and, you know, like it helped and it paid off. Look wonders. Well, I try to write a special yeah. song. Et vous aimeriez produire d'autres artistes? Excuse me? There's a lot of artists that we like to produce. Um, I think for right now we want to produce ourselves though. I think because we're still young, we still have a lot to learn before we start producing big time artists. But there will be a day when I think we'll start producing well known artists. Et là, vous êtes content du son? Never happy. <laughs> never never happy. We're never satisfied. It's very true because we wish he had more time to make it perfect, but it's a little rough thing. <laughs>